So here we have the 1995 Nissan Altima GXE. Uh, this car, uh, gosh, should we gamble it? Should we maybe flip it? Should we put in the, the 24 hours of lemons? Uh, yeah, what do you think? I'm gonna give you a review of this car, and then after you see what this car is all about, then you can tell me what you think we should do with it. <laughs> And stops! And it stops! So here we are in the Nissan Altima. There's tons of sun damage from being a Texas car and just, um, yeah, you can see also right here, tons of, uh, this is where my grandma tried to fix the sun damage. This part was, um, was actually painted. Uh, so that's actually in really good condition, but a bunch of the other stuff was not, you can see down there. Uh, was not So getting this open. Here's the yep twin cam. This is the Kate K24 DE engine so really good shape and um, That right there. Um, there's uh, Gosh, my grandma replaced that like four or five times um, uh, Just to try to get the check engine light to go off, but there we go All right driving the 1995 Nissan Ultima. So this car is actually not that bad to drive. I drove it down yesterday from Portland. Uh, obviously, a, a, all the speed limits keep it to them, right? Um, and this car was actually really nice to drive on the freeway. Just a little bit of vibration that's coming from it. It's probably from sitting for, you know, sat for about a year or so. Um, but it's, it's actually really smooth. I really like, there we go, maybe put in the right gear. I really like the uh, the engine. The K24 engine is really great um, when the um, when the variable valve timing comes in. It's it's nice. This car actually it's it's nice. I, I can imagine why people drove this car back in the day. It was um, uh, there was a bunch of options, and this one probably had a little bit more of a sporty flair. Uh, this car would have been great with a manual transmission, um, but it's just it's actually not that bad of a car at all. Uh, so it is pretty fun. You can feel the variable valve timing kick in, uh, or I think it's a variable valve timing. You can hear it, which is great. Um, and again, I was uh, keeping to freeway speed limits and here in Oregon is relatively slow. Uh, I also, this car is super old school and has an overdrive switch in it, which is really funny. Um, so if you want to, um, to get a little bit more speed, I was uh, pushing it pretty hard going up this hill coming out of uh, Salem, Oregon it's called. And uh, I pressed the overdrive off and then suddenly it, it kicked down for me, which was, uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, listen to some tunes. Uh, here we go. We can listen to see what uh, sort of static we get down here. And its relationship to God the Father. And now I'm listening to a sermon. Uh, yeah, with this car, it's got 86,000 miles on it. Everything works in the car. Uh, all the lights work. Everything is just, it's incredible that this car... Um, even though it's sat for so long, uh, it just, everything seems to work. Uh, air conditioning works. This car was in, um, in Texas, but yeah, I mean, uh, a little bit of vibration in the steering and alignment, and then you'd be, uh, you'd be good to go. Let's see if I can get a little bit of speed. There we go. That's nice. You could hear the I think that's the variable valve timing. I think that this is the dual overhead cam K24 motor. Um, so you could hear that and just hear that, um, uh, the air coming in. It sounds really cool. It, it's a, such a cool engine. I think it's the same engine that they put in the 240SX. Um, it's just kind of too bad that that engine is wrapped in the rest of the stuff. Uh, the car is is actually pretty nimble for what it is, which is which is pretty cool. Um, it's just this automatic transmission is 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 pretty terrible and uh, that kind of makes things bad. Let's, let's see how it goes again. The beans. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's pretty fun. And so, uh, yeah, with this car, it's like, you know, the, the physically this car, you can't see it, but it's not that good a condition. But mechanically, this car is just so perfect. And I think that this would be a great car for lemons. Uh, so if you don't know what the lemons is, the 24 hours of lemons is where you uh, you literally race for 24 hours in, uh, and it depends on the location. 
um, but you're supposed to keep your car under 500 bucks or something like that. And the idea is that you get these old crappy cars and you race them and you know, of course people put all sorts of things into it. There's also Lucky Dog Racing. Uh, I think this car would actually be really good for it because <laughs> it really doesn't have that many miles on it, but you know. Uh, who knows? Uh, either that or um, there's always the Gambler 500 if you don't know what that is. Um, it's where you have to get from uh, somewhere in the western part of Oregon to the um, middle part of Oregon, usually a place called Shemult, and you're supposed to just get the crappiest car as possible and just send it. Uh, and so people take hilarious cars like this and usually lift them and mod them a lot. Uh, so maybe not that. Uh, but who knows? Uh, if you have any comments, uh, you can like and subscribe and then uh, leave a comment below. And then from there, um, you can let us know, should we should we gamble this? Uh, what should we do with it? Uh, let's see if I can get a little bit of speed. There we go. It's nice. You get to hear the... I think that's the variable valve timing. I think that this is the dual overhead cam K24 motor. Um, so you could hear that and just hear that um, uh, the air coming in. It sounds really cool. It, it's a, such a cool engine. I think it's the same engine that they put in the 240SX. Um, it's just kind of too bad that that engine is wrapped in the rest of the stuff. Uh, the car is is actually pretty nimble for what it is, which is which is pretty cool. Um, it's just this automatic transmission is 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 pretty terrible, and uh, that kind of makes things bad. Let's, let's see how it goes again. The beans. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's it's pretty fun. And so, uh, yeah, with this car, it's like, you know, the, the physically this car, you can't see it, but it's not that good a condition. But mechanically, this car is just so perfect. And I think that this would be a great car for lemons. Uh, so if you don't know what the lemons is, the 24 hours of lemons is where you uh, you literally race for 24 hours in, and it depends on the location. Um, but you're supposed to keep your car under 500 bucks or something like that. And the idea is that you get these old crappy cars and you race them, and you know of course people put all sorts of things into it. There's also Lucky Dog Racing. Uh, I think this car would actually be really good for it because <laughs> it really doesn't have that many miles on it. But you know. Uh, who knows? Uh, either that or um, there's always the Gambler 500 if you don't know what that is. Um, it's where you have to get from uh, somewhere in the western part of Oregon to the um, middle part of Oregon, usually a place called Shemult, and you're supposed to just get the crappiest car as possible and just send it. Uh, and so people take hilarious cars like this and usually lift them and mod them a lot. Uh, so maybe not that. Uh, but who knows? Uh, if you have any comments, uh, you can like and subscribe and then uh, leave a comment below. And then from there, um, you can let us know, should we, should we gamble this? Uh, what should we do with it?